Hi, this is Fast Matt from San Antonio, Texas, and this is the How To Show. Today I'd like to show you how to take a speak and spell and turn it into a musical instrument by modifying the circuitry. The whole point of circuit bending is to use experimentation to find new and unapproved circuits to make strange new sounds. So the first thing we do is we get something to bend, look for something battery operated, not electric, because electricity can be dangerous if you're in there poking around in the innards. You can look for old Casio keyboards or children's alphabet toys or the classic speak and spell. This is my preference. Next, we need to get our tools together. Start off with a standard Phillips screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, wire cutters, standard electric drill with drill bits, some good wire, a small 30 watt soldering iron, and of course solder to go with that. Keep in mind, safety is pretty important, so I always like to have my safety glasses on when I'm working. And also, you need to make sure you have one of these, just in case you happen to lose that iron on the carpet. Now that you have your tools together, it's time to go to the electronic store in your neighborhood and just find some various parts to use. I like to pick up an assortment of buttons, switches, knobs. Now that you have all your parts together, the next step is to actually crack this thing open. You want to look for any screws that you can find, be sure to take those out. You have these four tabs that you have to take care of. It's important not to force these apart because you want those to be able to hold when you place it back together. And just kind of barely pry and spread the halves apart at the same time. And once you're done, you're ready to get started. You don't even have to know anything about electronics to do this. You're really just looking for random sounds. And so to get started, get yourself some small precision screwdrivers and then a set of alligator clips with the wire connecting those. What you want to do is get it talking. And essentially you want to start with one screwdriver on one pin and just start exploring the board with the other. And you just never know what you're going to come up with. So once you've found a sound like that, you can go ahead and circle that so that you know where it was and then you can take advantage of that with a switch later on. But the next step is to go ahead and drill a hole so that you can hook up a button or a switch to it. Now that we have the switch in place, it's time to go ahead and get the wire out. And I like to start off and hand measure this approximately from where the switch is to the point on the circuit board you're planning to take advantage of. Cut it with your wire cutters and strip the insulation. And now we're going to solder the wire to the switch that we just installed. So go ahead and take your soldering iron and you know it's hot when the solder just kind of melts on it and you get the nice smoke. Try not to breathe that and it's really bad for you. Go ahead and start heating up the component and then as you're heating it up just apply some solder to the other side of it and it'll just nicely start flowing together. And then we're just going to attach this wire to the actual circuit board. Now we'll just do the same thing with the other connection as well. Now that we have our new circuit it's time to test it out. First thing to do is to hold down the on button with your free hand. And then next try out the circuit with the switch. You'll see that you'll get a random action pretty much every time you do it. So now that you have that first circuit in place, you can go ahead and just repeat the same process until you're satisfied with all your different bins. Just go ahead and add switches and knobs anywhere in these open spots. And then when you're ready to close up the case, just make sure that you're not going to be hitting any of these internal parts. And if you do, you can take a Dremel rotary tool of some kind and just take those off. And once you're ready, just go ahead and seal it back up. So here's what you might end up with. So let's review. Find yourself something to bend, such as a speak and spell. Circuit bend it and close it back up. Hope you had a good time learning it. Enjoy.